So how long does it take for your music to be released when you release with DistroKid? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And I have just released my latest single called Six and Eight. It's available right now on your Spotify, your Apple Music, your iTunes, your Google Play, your Amazon and all of the rest. And the reason it's available on all of those platforms is that I use the very cool DistroKid distribution platform. And DistroKid, if you're not familiar with it, for $19.99 US per year, you can upload an unlimited number of songs, EPs, albums. You can just release your own original music as much as you like. So in a recent video, I actually show you the process of releasing a song using DistroKid. And in this video, I'm going to return back to show you what happens next. Once you've actually hit submit on that upload, what actually happens next? Now, quick warning before we jump in, I promise we'll dive in in just a few seconds, but make sure that you keep in mind that your mileage may vary. This is very much dependent upon the different platforms and how quickly they get it out. And it will change depending on the time of the week, the time of the year, how many songs are being released, if your song gets flagged for a quick check by an actual human as opposed to being pushed through. So keep all of that in mind. Don't say Pete said it comes out in this amount of time, so why isn't my song out yet? This is not necessarily indicative, but I thought I would show you the process that happened with my latest single, Six and Eight. So without any further ado, let's jump in and take a look now. So once again, when we left off in the last video, and I will link to that up there and down there if you want to watch that first before you watch this one, we had just successfully uploaded my new single. And the email we got straight away was this one here from DistroKid. It said, good news, we've verified that the audio format is all good and you are on your way. So that was all cool. And I can actually see the details of the album being released. There's a link there that takes me straight back in to my DistroKid where I can actually take a look at everything there. I then got two more emails. So if we click the back button here, we got this one here, which said that the artwork was successfully processed. So DistroKid checks the artwork, make sure it's the right resolution, and then before it actually sends it off. So it said, yep, we're okay. We're continuing to process and, and chug away there and then we get this third email which says it has been submitted to the stores so one number of songs one stores there's all of the stores that it's been submitted to we've got the information about it again that we can link through to and then it gives us the all important time frame so Apple and Apple Music and iTunes, one to seven days or sooner, often same day. Uh, and then it says a small percentage go through a manual review at Apple. So that's what I was talking about before. Sometimes a human actually has to eyeball and a small amount of your songs will do that. Can take additional 16 business days. So keep that in mind if you are releasing and it's not getting to Apple Music. That may be why. Spotify up to five days. And in my experience, Spotify has been the longest. It seems to take the longest to hit Spotify than any other platform. Google Play about three days. I tend to find that's really quick actually actually about one day, Amazon two to four days, Pandora one to two weeks, uh, and it's curated. So that means a real human has to look at it. And Deezer, one to two weeks. Now, let's see. I've actually got all of the release dates of all of these. So let's take a look here. If we look at the timestamp here, Thursday, January 24th at 11.14 a.m. my time. Let's now go in and take a look at some of the emails that we got back as this is being released. So keep that in, time, keep that in mind. 11 a.m. on January the 24th as we look through these. So the first place it landed on was Deezer here. And this was literally uh, six and a bit hours later. So at 5.38 p.m., it was already live on Deezer. And I actually clicked the link and went through and took a look. And if you don't believe me, I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, here it is. So it's released here on Deezer. I've just searched Pete Johns. And here it is, my latest release, six and eight, right here on Deezer. Uh, if you don't know about Deezer, neither did I. It's actually a reasonably cool uh, platform and a cool uh, streaming service. So I've signed up for a trial anyway. Um, so there it is, my album artwork. I can play it. I can add it. I can share it. I can listen to it to it uh, through my Deezer account. So that was pretty cool that within six days, same day, uh, we had it released on Deezer. Uh, let's jump in and take a look at our next one. So who made it next? Who was live next? Well, let's go. It is, believe it or not, it is Apple. <laughs> it is iTunes and Apple Music that got it next. So yes, it was live on iTunes and that was on the 25th at 2.54 p.m. So remember it was 11 a.m. So this is 27 hours later, 28 hours, about 28 hours that it took just over one day to actually release. And again, your mileage may vary. I have had uh, songs that have taken four, five, even six days to hit some of these stores. So don't take this as absolute 100% gospel, but it's a pretty good indicator 
education that distro kid do their part. They get it pushed out there like really quick and they hit the stores and then it's kind of up to the stores to do their thing. So if we come back here uh, and where, where is it? So let's just have a look. So here it is on Apple Music. So I've just gone and searched. I've searched Apple Music, Pete Johns and bang, it's right there. And you can, of course, go into iTunes. You can stream it through Apple Music as well. And uh, it's all good to go. The rest of my catalog down there as well. So uh, that is all cool. Let's check who got the third place. Uh, well, it's actually Apple Music. <laughs> so uh, Apple Music at 2.56 p.m. So that's actually the same exact time, I believe. Uh, 2.54. So for some reason, iTunes gets it two minutes before Apple Music do. Um, which is a thing. Um, and then the last one here was Spotify. So we're live on Spotify and this was the 25th of January at 10.18 p.m. So again, we are only not even 36 hours, not even a day and a half after the release date, it's actually hit Spotify. And if we look over here on Spotify, uh, I haven't actually searched this one, but let's, this will be a quick test. So we'll type in my name, Pete Johns, and hit enter. And let's do a quick Spotify search. There I am, following artist, and there's my new single. So we can click on that. We can bring up six and eight. There it is, one song, three minutes, 57 seconds, ready to play there in Spotify. So that is pretty cool. Now, the one that is missing here that is actually the service I use is Google Play. But the funny thing about Google Play is it tends to actually release songs uh, before and not actually tell me. So I've actually checked it the same day for most of my releases here on Google Play because, like I said, it's the streaming platform that I use and it's my streaming platform of choice because it's associated with YouTube. So funnily enough, I, I use that because I'm a, a big YouTube user, as you would know. So here it is. It's actually right here. It has been released on Google Play. It just hasn't sent the email yet. So that's the other thing. Sometimes I guess the processing at the end of the actual streaming uh, site is a little bit lagging and a little bit behind. So sometimes your song will actually already be out on that platform, even though it hasn't actually told you it's been released. So that's all pretty cool. That's all done. Let's just do one last thing. In fact, we can do this by going from, I was going to open a new window. Let's go back to our distro kid from when it was originally submitted. So let's just go to this link here and jump back into our distro kid account and look at that dashboard view because that will actually show us a little bit more information. And in future videos, I'm actually going to go through how we can enhance this, how we can upload some metadata, upload our lyrics and do a bunch of other things with our track. But here it is, uploaded and release date is both January 24, as we can see over here in the top right corner. There's that UPC code that I talked about in the last video. So distro kid has added the UPC code for me and as we come down here you can see here that uh, we've got some credits uploaded we can upload a bunch more of them we can download our track we can add lyrics as I said we'll be doing all of that in the future uh, we've got our record label there we've got all of our hyper follows here that we can then share and, and uh, visit now hyper follow is this one here that I showed you in a previous video if we click through to that that's just this very cool landing page I've actually used this to share on some of the social media platforms and especially for folks that are on Spotify and Apple Music it makes it very very easy for them to jump in and grab your track. And then we can add in any of these additional features if we want to. So this just gives us a bit of an update on how things are tracking. And if we go back to My Music, so let's click the My Music button here at the top on DistroKid. And you can see here, it's been submitted to all of these. Now, some folks have been asking, well, why are your older releases at, on less platforms? And that's because DistroKid adds platforms all the time. And I need to actually go back in and update these. So you can actually resubmit them to platforms that they're not on. Um, and I've done that here with anxiety, you can see. So I've gone back and actually re-uploaded that or, or sub resubmitted it. So it goes to those new platforms that it hadn't already been on. And one more thing before we finish up here, a lot of folks have asked about YouTube. How does it work with the YouTube release? Well, what I've done here is I've searched for Pete John six and eight on YouTube. And the first result here is actually my lyric videos. This is one that I uploaded a couple of days ago. You can take a look at that if you search to uh, do the same search. But this one down here is the one that DistroKid actually automatically uploads. Now they don't upload it to my channel, they upload it to this other channel. There you can hear it playing. They upload it to this other channel, which is this Pete John's topic. So you can see there it's provided to YouTube by DistroKid and it's actually just a release of my song. It's got the metadata that we have down there and it says auto-generated by YouTube. So it's not perfect because it doesn't align with all the rest of the content that you may have, but it's pretty handy because if someone doesn't have any other streaming servers, you can, as soon as it's released to Google Play, it also gets released to YouTube. And then you can click on the share button here and you can copy this link and then send that to anyone. 
and then they can jump into YouTube and actually view. It's not a clip, it's just a static image of your uh, your album art and it will play back your song. But it's a, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good thing and, and it's just a, another thing that the district kid do that a few folks have been asking about that they do release. And now, if you don't want it to be here, if you want to completely control it, then don't choose Google Play and that will also not upload to YouTube Music as I mentioned in the previous video. And there you go. I hope you found this interesting. And if you are considering releasing your songs using DistroKid, this gave you a bit of an idea of what happens after you hit that upload and that submit button. What happens with all the different stores? Now, once again, I've said this three times now, but your mileage may vary. It's not necessarily going to be 24 hours or 36 hours or the a short amount of time that you saw here. As I said, I've had singles that have taken up to five days to seven days to actually hit some of these stores, especially Spotify in the past, at least seems to have been a little bit slower than the rest of them but it just does show that Spotify do their part or Distro Kids sorry do their part they get it processed they get it out to the stores as quickly as possible as long as you've got your album artwork right as long as you are, all of your details are in there correctly then it's going to push those through the other thing to keep in mind is your very first release also may take a bit longer so I've got an established account especially with iTunes Apple Music Spotify so it's quicker to upload if you're a brand new artist your first single may take a little bit of extra time so keep that in mind as well. You can obviously now check out my new song, 6 and 8. You know how to search for it. You know the platforms that's available. So thank you for everyone who's already checked it out and has supported me throughout the release of this single. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, you can drop those in the comment section down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you'd like to check out a whole lot more information all about DistroKid and releasing music, there's two videos linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.